District Attorney Steve Gundel says, even though the number of drug cases in the county is down, he's concerned about why. Dylan Anderman was there as he took his concerns to the Deschutes County Commission. The district attorney presented 11 drug policy proposals to Deschutes County Commissioners. They cover possession, use, addiction, and dealing. Scenarios, and this is one of the words uh, uh, that comes to mind also here. So, At the Wednesday meeting, Steve Gunnell spoke on behalf of the state's police chiefs, sheriffs, district attorneys, and the League of Oregon Cities. He told commissioners in 2019, Deschutes County prosecuted over 700 methamphetamine cases. This year, the county's on track to prosecute 70. That doesn't mean that we're doing a great job and we're getting people off of drugs. It means that uh, the people who are in possession of measure 110 amounts, which is less than two grams of methamphetamine, which is the vast majority, are being untouched. Gunnels presented six proposals aimed at public safety, including reclassifying possession of a controlled substance to a misdemeanor and to restore a state law covering possession with intent to transfer. You have to have somebody who is in the process of delivering the drugs before you can pro prosecute them for delivery, which makes it very difficult uh, to hold people accountable who are delivering poison in the community. Officer in the street or a situation where somebody has, you know, multiple doses packaged up, obvious, you know, scenario ready for distribution, but oh, didn't catch you doing it. So, yeah, that is interesting. Yeah. The other five proposals focused on treatment, including holds up to 72 hours for those who are intoxicated and increasing space with new secure facilities. But Chang points out there are obstacles. Few million dollars for a secure residential treatment facility for a number of years now and um, the, the, there's an absence of the additional funds needed and the, the partner to build and operate that um, to, to bring that uh, you know, bring that funding to fruition and, and to get the facilities that we need. Commissioners Chang and DeBone expressed support for the policy proposals and plan to write a letter to Oregon lawmakers before February session where Measure 110 is set for review. Dylan Anderman, News Channel 21. Tonight we're asking, are city and county officials doing enough to address drug issues? To weigh in, head over to our web poll on the KTVZ.com homepage. You can vote on previous polls on our polls page, which you'll find under the News tab.